Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is uh, Metro, or when we talk about Metro with uh, Windows 8 or the Metro experience within Microsoft's universe, this is what it looks like. And yes, it is coming with Windows 8. This is actually a screenshot taken on the article, Is Metro Good for Desktops? Written by Matt Ryan on Locker Gnome today. I'm going to go ahead over here in the sidebar and plus one it publicly, and of course I could add a note to it to share it publicly on Google+, Plus. like it and tweet it as well if you want. Uh, take a look at the article because if you are a Windows fan, you may not be a fan of Metro. And they are currently thinking of baking the Metro experience in with the Aero experience, A-E-R-O. And the Aero experience is what you've been used to with Windows Vista and Windows 7. Before that, it was Windows Luna, the, the classic XP experience. But blending Metro on the desktop along with Aero, just, it, it, it doesn't necessarily work. They're two different usability experiences. Metro's optimized for touch, and it works amazingly in touch environments if you've ever used Windows 8 in touch with previews and certainly with compatible hardware, versus Aero, which sucks on anything that you might touch. Uh, so it works best on the desktop environment with, say, a touchpad, a mouse, and a keyboard. So with Windows 8, they're bringing them both together. And you know what? It's a bad idea. Metro on its own? Awesome. Windows Aero on its own? It's okay. But bringing them together, you know, it doesn't necessarily work. Think about two flavors you love that you would never considering putting together. Never consider, not never consider, answer. Or putting a word there that shouldn't be there in the first place. I have no problem with Metro. I have no problem with Windows. But I have a huge problem with Microsoft believing that bringing those two experiences together is a good idea. Metro is a bad idea for desktops or any computing experience that doesn't involve touch. They're trying to do everything for everybody, and Microsoft, listen up, it won't work. I'm telling you, go one direction or another. Optimize one for this platform, another for another. That's just the easiest way to go. You can bring experiences together as much as you possibly can, but screwing with UI paradigms? Metro's good, just not for desktops that don't involve touch. We've explained further why, if you hadn't figured it out, uh, and it's not just us. Other users have been saying the exact same thing. It's not just me. I was right about Windows Millennium Edition. I was right about Windows Vista. And so help me God, I hope to God, I am not right about this happening with Windows 8. Take a look at the article. It's linked in the description. Is Metro good for desktops?